The world that we live in today is filled with many cultures and traditions. Here in Sydney, we're so lucky to have food, water and education. We have these every day and we never really stop and think about what it would be like to have none. Nearly three billion people live on less than one dollar per day. Asia holds many of the poorest countries in the world, one of its poorest being Cambodia. Cambodia's population is roughly 14 million people, which equates to four times Sydney's population, living in an area the size of Victoria. It is New Year's Day here on the Khmer calendar and we're in one of the poorest regions in Cambodia. Here in Chikrang, consisting of 10,000 people with no schools, low nutrition and a desperate need for help. About two years ago I went to Cambodia as a tourist with my family. Uh, we travelled fairly extensively around the country and we were overwhelmed by the poverty but also by the ingenuity of the people and the great trouble they went to to try and better their lives, the way they worked so hard. But we were touched so much by how hard the children worked and you would see them on the streets everywhere working diligently, really hard and trying to support a family. And so when we came back we decided that we just had to do something to help because Australian money goes a long way in Cambodia. Over the past 30 years Cambodia has suffered through a succession of long and hard fought wars. The wiping out of two million Cambodians has left a country struggling to survive. I spent about two years, best part of two years, doing research and visited um, the country another four or five times, uh, interviewing people, going to the large organisations like World Vision and um, UNICEF, etc., and then smaller um, orphanages and uh, small NGOs and. Um, and talking to them about what would be the, the best thing to do, Try just gathering ideas, gathering information. The people of Cambodia suffer from the spread of fatal diseases such as typhoid, malaria and HIV AIDS. Infant mortality rates are amongst the highest in the world. Corruption is a way of life at every level of society. Despite all this, many Cambodian people have a sincere determination to overcome these obstacles and improve their living standards. Although to achieve this, they often require help from non-government organisations such as UNICEF and World Vision. These organisations operate large-scale programs and have massive administration costs. In 2004, Cathy and Phil Kindly both established the Karuna Foundation, set up to support some of the poorest children in the rural areas of Cambodia. This is a very, very new and different project for the people who are working with us on the ground. Um, building the shelter and organising the children with teachers and carers. Cambodia is home to many rural and isolated villages. Many of them do not have fresh water, let alone electricity. This village of Varin is one of them. It is only 70 kilometres north of Siem Reap, however it took me four hours to get there on a four-wheel drive. That's how bad the road was. There are many wonderful organisations and people out here helping to alleviate poverty. These include many NGOs such as World Vision and UNICEF. But I've been very, very fortunate to meet a Khmer man who's been an inspiration to his own people in helping people and children through their community through education. His name is Mr Chow and he runs PPC, which is the Peace Project Community. Mr Chow runs a small organisation called PPC. The Peace Project community has taken five young orphans and given them a second chance of life. Since it is a Cambodian founded organisation, Mr Chow raises the kids in the way they would have been by their natural parents. They have their own chores like serving out dinner, they must wash their own clothes, hang it up, fetch water from the well, feed the animals, pick the mangoes and keep the place tidy.
The Karuna Foundation is a grassroots program set up to directly support extremely poor communities in the rural areas of Cambodia, such as Varin. Working with the community leaders and the local Buddhist monks, Karuna is constructing shelters for the orphaned and desperately poor children and providing them with education, food, water and medical programs. When we go up to Varin, um, we are really interested in seeing how the project is progressing. Um, building the shelter and organising the children with teachers and carers. We have the plan which um, has the first, second and third stage really. The first stage is to build a shelter for the very, very poor children, who some who, who are orphaned. Uh, there are many who live with maybe a sibling or a grandmother and in very, very poor, horrible conditions. There will be a teacher and carers to look after them where they'll be fed and, and they will be given an education to bring them up to speed so that they can eventually go on to the local schools which are available. The Karuna Foundation is now working with Mr Chow to expand his model into the community of Varin by employing local community members as carers, teachers and labourers. There are limited supplies of funds available for this project, so we want to make sure that the money is well spent, the project stays on track, and, um, and they get very good value for the children who are the, the recipients of uh, this whole project. Cambodia is a really beautiful country with a wonderfully rich history which is um, evident in the number of beautiful temples that are scattered throughout the country. There are rice fields, there is a magnificent river that runs through and it's wonderful to know that people don't have to flee there anymore. They don't have to leave the country to have a better life for themselves or for their children. It's great that they can stay in their country and build up a life for themselves in their own country. Since the time that these interviews were shot, there has been a huge amount of progress in the construction of the shelter. The Karuna Foundation have now successfully achieved their first step of building and maintaining a children's shelter in Varin. The 61 children now attending the Karuna Centre in Varin have access to fresh water, food, shelter, hygiene, medical treatment, classrooms and a library. Friends of Karuna will be able to help by offering resources in the way of specialist skills, equipment such as books and computers, or by funding groups of children, care workers, teachers and other development initiatives such as the sinking of wells, tree plantation and food programs. For more information, please visit Karuna's site at karunafoundation.org.au. Compassion is the heartfelt wish that all humans be free from suffering. We are all part of this one planet and have the capacity to do great things by sharing the love inside us. We have a responsibility to each other and to leave the planet a better place.